hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's Jess um, today I'm going to do a book tag it's the unpopular opinions book tag I haven't necessarily been tagged in this but it looks really fun and I wanted to put more videos on my channel so I thought it was a good idea to some that's not a book haul or a TBR so I'm still finding my feet when it comes to doing reviews so I thought this would be an easier kind of video and just to let you guys know what I think of certain books and to get your feedback to get like your guys feedback on what you think of certain books so yeah um, if I'm looking down I'm looking at my phone at the questions that's my phone cover um, yeah so the first question is a popular book series that you didn't like and for me it's not a series it's just a book I can't think of any like series that like I really dislike that are popular so it's just a book and I am going to be hated hated for this answer and it is A Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell Rowell I absolutely despise that book I just could not get into it I found it really slow paced I found it like not interesting it literally took me like three weeks to get through it when like it should have taken me like maybe a day or two like I just didn't want to pick it up, I didn't want to know, I just wasn't interested in the characters. I really could not connect or find it interesting. Nothing was happening. The whole book was the main character moaning. Like it was just her complaining and like feeling sorry for herself when she like literally had no reason to. I cannot fathom why people find that interesting. I bought it in hardback, gave it away, never want to read it again, have no interest in reading it again. I'm not even going to pretend, like maybe now, a couple of years later since I read it, I might give it now. No interest, don't want to, don't want to know. Um, the next question is a popular, no, not popular, I'm talking about years now. Oh yeah, a popular book series, book or series that everyone else seems to hate but you love. Um, mine would be the Selection series by Kira Cass. Um, I know this is probably a lot of people's answers, but like, I just, I love it. It's just utter trash and I love it. Um, it's, I, I live in Ireland and we don't have like The Bachelor or Bachelorette, but I know, I, I know the concept, but I absolutely love it. Like it's just, it's guilty pleasure. Like it's, you know, the, that series, I can't give the order, but you know, um, after series, the after, like, and it's odd. Anatod. After Hades by Anatod, it's that kind of like guilty pleasure, like you just read it and you binge read it and like you know you shouldn't like it but you do because you know it's really bad writing and it's really bad like bad plot line and really bad character development but it's really like it's like just trash TV, it's like car crash TV. Put in a book, it's like I love it. Um the next question is a love triangle where the main character ended up with a person you did not want them to end up with or an OTP that you don't like. Um this is going to be an unpopular opinion. I know it's an unpopular opinion tag, but I don't know anyone else that doesn't like this relationship. And that is Ron and Hermione Granger. I really don't like them together. I just can't, I can't seem to get my head to click that they are in a relationship together. Like even though they are, and even though I've seen the end of the movie and I've read the end of the book and I know they have kids, it just seems forced. It just seems like it does. It 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 didn't seem to come naturally. Like in my opinion, in the book or the movie, it didn't seem to gel naturally. It just it seemed like they were wrote into that just for a, like a sideline plotline. What was actually going on? Just to keep things interesting while they were like building up to the main to the main end. And I just don't like them together. I think that Harry and Hermione should have ended up together. I think Ron and Luna should end up together. I like how flighty Luna is. Like Luna is my favourite character. Like screw Harry, screw Dumbledore. Luna is my like love child. I love Luna. Like not because she's Irish. I just love her. I love her. And I think Ron would have been well suited with her. And I think Hermione would have been well suited with Harry. And Jeannie could just go find someone else don't care and um, so yeah that's that one 
the next question a popular book genre that you hardly reach for it's I don't know whether it's class as a genre or um it's it could be a genre it's the kind of book it, it, that is graphic novels and anime I really I can't get into them I just feel like I'm cheating like I read them and I just don't I don't because I <laughs> it's hard to explain like you know when you read a graphic novel and you're seeing that artist's like that artist's representation of the character, main character, and their idea of how they should look. I I just I don't like that. I like reading a book where I can, even though the book describes what the character might look like, I like imagining the main character in my own head and imagining what she like he or she would look like, and how everyone else in the book would look like, and how the town would describe. But when you're reading a graphic novel, novel, I can't speak a graphic novel. Or anime it seems to be kind of rare for you and you, you can't expand your own imagination I just I don't know I just have never got really got into them I have the whole of the Walking Dead series in the compendiums inside but I, I've read them but like I'm not crazy about them the TV shows I can like binge on but like graphic novels and anime just aren't my thing Um, a popular or beloved character that you do not like Um. This is an easy one. Uh, I don't know whether I'm gonna be slighted for this, but it's Clary Fra it's Clary Frey. I just cannot stand that girl. She is just so selfish, so self-absorbed, absorbed. Like I told you, I cannot speak. It's late in the evening. I cannot speak. She's so she is so self-absorbed. She, oh, I just cannot stand her. She is so mean to Simon. In all the books, she is whiny. She complains a lot. Like, come on, you're given this opportunity to be like a shadow hunter and like you're, like, you complain the first week your life is a bore and you're like, interested in you're complaining again. I just cannot seem to take to the girl in any of the books, even though like, she she becomes less complainy. Can't, just can't do it, just can't take to her. I cannot stand her, cannot stand her. I do hope, she, like I do, like I haven't read the last of the Immortal Instruments series and I do hope she's a happy ending, but I just, don't like her. If she died, I would not be saddened. I wouldn't be a big loss to me. Um, the next question is a popular order that you can't seem to get into. Um, from my answer, that would definitely have to be Jolly Picult. I just don't find the books that really interest, interest me. I don't know why that's because they're romance and they're kind of like fluffier novels, but like nothing she writes. I, uh, like, I, I have like, oh, I want to read that. I read Between the Lines, or Between the Pages, whatever it's called. I liked it, wasn't great, like, I just, I have no interest in picking up any of her books and the only reason I read between the pages, if that, that's even what it's called, it was given to me as a present and that's really it. Um, tropes that you cannot stand are you getting tired of seeing and it's, for me, it's definitely the bad boy turn good. Like, come on, if you're going to write a bad boy character, stick to it, make him an asshole make them keep them being bad even if like to get together she felt like if if it's a case of the main character is falling in love with this bad boy she's falling in love with him because he's a bad boy i hate what i really hate when authors write like a bad a bad boy character and then as soon as like the female protagonist of the story becomes involved with him he's suddenly like this great sweet guy if you're going to write a bad boy, a bad boy into a story, keep him that way. Keep him an asshole. Like that's keep it true to how like in in like keep it true to how in reality it would be. Like, like if if I met a guy who was an asshole and I fell in love with him, like majority of the time he's not going to become this sweet, innocent guy. He's going to keep to the is true to himself. Like no, there is no point writing about a bad boy character if in like ten pages you're going to change his whole character, his like his whole character. Like just because he's fallen in love, that that does not happen in real life. Keep the bad boys, bad boys. If they're gonna be assholes, keep them assholes. Don't change because there's suddenly a woman there. That's just my opinion. Um, and the next question. My phone keeps locking. I'm sorry. A popular series you have no interest in reading. Um, for me that have to be. 
I don't really have an answer for this one because like, as, like, as I said I'm willing to try anything like I've tried Jodie Picoult I've read I hated the Legend series but I read the whole thing and I'm willing to give Marie Lou more than one chance because like it's a series that I didn't like it's not the, not, it's not the writing or the author it's just the series and the characters in particular so I don't think there's not any one series or one book that I'm like completely against trying I'm kind of up for it and like, if I could make it through reading Twilight, which I did enjoy. No, if I could make it through reading Fifty Shades of Grey, the whole thing, I can read anything. Because that was just bad. I read the fourth one and thought, okay, crap, I read the second one, more crap. I read the last one, even more crap. That's just my opinion. I know I keep saying that, but it is, like, it's, I'd read anything above Fifty Shades of Grey bad. I know people love it, like it's it's like the selection series, it's just trash. Like it's people like love reading trash. Um and I think this is the last question. Is it the last question? As yeah, as the saying goes, the book is always better than the movie, but what movie or TV show adaption do you refer to the book? Um definitely Game of Thrones. I have read the first two books in the Game of Thrones and I find it really hard to um, keep my head within what's going on in the story. Like I find it really hard to like keep on top of what's happening. I don't know it's because there's a lot of action and I'm not a big actiony reader so I find it really hard to keep my head space with that character because it'll go from like Tyrone to Daenerys to Jon Snow and then it'll, it'll take about 10 chapters to get back to Daenerys or to get back to Tyrone. I just find it really hard to get like my headspace into that kind of writing. So yeah, I love Game of Thrones, the TV show. I like Game of Thrones, the book series. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you agree with any of my opinions, please comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you all soon. Bye!